the doctor of learning, the hill, the space of the house, its yard, 7th Street and 32nd Avenue Southwest. Later, a maypole. She ran the school there long before she'd met Maria Montessori and Alexander Graham Bell. She led me upstairs out of my class, windows onto garden, into the other class, windows onto street, where I sat beside the boy John, who later brought me an Easter egg when I was ill, who helped me learn cursive writing, imitating him. He was in grade three. I was five. We all learned what we wanted. She led those who led us. She was brown haired and compact, vital, colorful, her pattern dress draped with necklaces and brooches, many incredible brooches. Much older than my parents who deferred to her. Her garret office full of papers, her kind voice, her listening. We read aloud from wherever we were in the book we were reading. We learned ballroom dancing. We went outside to the hill to explore the wind. The first French words I heard were in that house under the eaves, looking out onto the garden. Ouvrez la fenêtre. Madame Rouge said those words, not her, but she had brought me up to the classroom, high up all the steps and introduced me to the room of children and left me with them and Madame Rouge dressed in red. I would learn French. To me, it sounded like, but the boy beside me leapt up and went to the sloping roof and opened the window. But beep ba blah ba blah meant open the window. Ouvre la fenêtre. She treated me as an equal. I was much smaller. She climbed slowly as she was older. Now I know she was 73 that year. I was afraid mostly, but never around her. I learned to trust and listen. We climbed up and up the stairs. On top of every floor of the house, there seemed to be another floor. Even in my dreams, I climbed those stairs and there she was amid books and papers asking how I was. If in the classroom you asked to be excused, you were excused and could leave and go find her. She included my parents. We went one winter night together to a place where I read before authorities and they concurred. I didn't know why. I read out loud to them. She was a doctor and she was kind, a woman of great learning, a woman who ran a school. She let me learn in Calgary, inside that house and outside it. I was five years old in 1960. From the house we walked out to the hill or headed left to the river. It was on 32nd Avenue at 7th Street. Later in the yard with our parents, there was a celebration of spring from the culture of the English, a maypole. It's this woman here, Dr. Potts, Dr. Margaret Potts. Thank you. Thank you all the way from Montreal, Erin Moray.